person asks me how to learn rhythm in flamenco, if it is by getting some softwares, you know, that, that make the hand claps and the accents, or, or God forbid, those visual things that have a pointer there to tell you where the rhythm is. And I said, no, no, wait a moment. This is not what you need to learn rhythm. Because Paco said, it was not me, it's Paco said, first you have to count and play the stuff with the metronome flat. And if you cannot do that, then you, you don't own rhythm. Even people who, it's not about reading music. Some people read music but cannot count properly and play. I mean, you put this thing and synchronize matching your voice out loud, kind, counting with what you are playing. It's called perfection beyond objection. Because you cannot be now challenged this way. This, this is objectivity. <laughs> here, this is the tempo and that's it. If it, is, if it is good, it has to match here. And not that you cannot do organic tempo, because Paco always did use the metronome. He did advise it 20 million times. I will post a description of the video where his dancer said this was a golden advice. And of course, that's how he did in Cositas Buenas. Uh, the Buleria, Cuando Venga Alba, which is with Camarón, death, how he did that recording. Well, because he, he, he recorded that back in the 80s or in the 70s with metronome. He had a click there in the original recording. And then therefore now he can just erase the other guitars and put the new guitar. So he called Tomatito and did the stuff and put other guys to the chorus of the voices and then and then create a marvelous piece. And then, But why? Because there was recorded with metronome, this thing. It was recorded with metronome. So yes, metronome is not a classic thing all exclusively Paco introduced this because this means accuracy. Sabicas and everyone else before did not have knowledge to play in rhythm. They could not play in rhythm well. This is one shocking thing which I said many times and I prove it because I put Alegrias by Sabicas and are all like this roller coaster style. There is not one definition of a steady beat there at all. So it was Paco who did that. Therefore if you want to know, read, if you want to do just a superficial, cheap stuff, lousy quality, then you can get this, this, this and this app and this and this software, and that's all. But that's not knowledge. Knowledge when you put this thing there and can count it properly. This is what Paco said. And when you can do that, then now you can use any software and, and any caja recorder, percussion record. I prefer to do my own jam tracks and ask. Uh, musicians which are friends or whatever play the caja, the percussion to play at the studio and because I do have some jam tracks with, with, with cajon with the caja to, to, to practice standard pieces etc and of course those I give only for the students for the students which are in Skype there if you join the lessons you can also get access to those but that also will not make you learn rhythm Re learn rhythm you have to learn it you and how because not what, what is one thing, but how you will learn it, you need to follow a precise method. And in flamenco, flamenco without rhythm is nothing. So you need to get the proper way. That's why we do in Skype these personalized classes on about nine levels, which you can also join that and learn on all the styles, in all the styles, solea, alegrías, bulería, tangos, etc., tanguillo, know what it is exactly. And you will see that we have practices, of course, as Paco recommended, with the metronome, and, and some other with caja, with, with, because you can use it also if, it, if there is a sof, uh, software or whatever. But it may sound robotic, of course, that I don't like so much. I prefer live recordings if I ask a guy to play the caja there. And, and I record that, then I can use it, because I, I record also with metronome those things. So everything has to be centered on this guy here. This is a friend. First, it seems an enemy. We don't like his presence. <laughs> one time, I remember, this is an anecdote, that one guy came and said, How do I know I am... How uh, do I know that I am... How do I know that I am practicing properly? They, they asked this to Paco. And Paco said, Do you have a metronome? <laughs> because... If you are, do you do you do you, do you study that you practice practice with metronome? <laughs> because this is the first thing. If we don't have that, then we know that's not what is the best way. So this is at least from our point of view, right? And because of the results, I'm getting uh, teaching people this way. Now I have 90 students, and they, none of them is 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 down in rhythm.
And also the great thing which gives hope, because some people think they are hopeless cases which have no rhythm or no tuning or, you know, this is, someone said something and they believe it, but it is a fact that you can learn it. Everyone can learn it if you just go step by step from the beginning under proper uh, guidelines, which means you have to be supervised by a teacher. That's why we do this in Skype. So no app will help you in this thing. <laughs> No, this is the, 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 the reality. You have to learn it you. But it's a lot of fun and it's very easy done when you have a teacher. Un anecdoto que descubrí ahí en la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien. Pablo. Sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.